Encapsula Nanosciences presents Liposome Basics, Part 1. The basic molecular building block of a cell membrane, as well as a typical liposomal membrane, is a phospholipid. Phospholipids are built on a glycerol backbone. Phosphorylated molecules are esterified to carbon-3 of the glycerol, forming a polar head group. Fatty acids are esterified to carbon-1 and 2 of the glycerol. Phospholipids are known as polar lipids because the phosphorylated portion is polar or water-soluble, while the fatty acid tails of the molecules are nonpolar or fat-soluble. Fatty acids are referred to as saturated when the carbons in the chain are covalently bonded to each other by a single bond and each carbon in the chain has the maximum number of hydrogen atoms covalently bonded to it. In other words, the carbon chain is saturated with hydrogen atoms. The chain length can vary from 3 to 24 carbons. Unsaturated fatty acids contain at least one double bond in the carbon chain. Each double bond causes a kink in the carbon chain of unsaturated fatty acids. The most common natural phospholipids contain palmitic and oleic acids. However, synthetic phospholipids can be synthesized with any combination of fatty acids. The most common phospholipid head group found in nature is phosphorylcholine, or PC. Other head groups include phosphorylethanolamine, known as PE, phosphorylglycerol, known as PG, phosphorylinositol, known as PI, and phosphorylserine, known as PS. The PC and PE head groups have no charge, while the PG, PI, and PS head groups are negatively charged. The most common naturally occurring phospholipid is POPC. Phospholipids are often drawn as a ball representing the head group with two tails attached representing the fatty acids. In an aqueous environment, phospholipids orient themselves into a thermodynamically stable structure called a bilayer. This flat sheet of lipid then curves into a geometric structure which has no edges, a sphere. SUVs range from 30 to 70 nanometers in diameter, while MLVs can be several microns in diameter. LUVs, or large unilamellar vesicles, range from 70 to 120 nanometers in diameter. Liposomes can encapsulate both water-soluble and fat-soluble drugs, which are slowly released as the liposome is broken down by enzymes and acids found in tissues and cells, especially at disease sites. Many fat-soluble compounds, including some drugs, can be incorporated into the phospholipid bilayer. For injection into animals, liposomes with cholesterol in their membranes are more physically stable in the bloodstream. Incorporating tocopherols into the membrane can increase the chemical stability of unsaturated phospholipids. Liposomes can have various molecules attached to their surface. The most common surface modification is pegylation in which the polymer polyethylene glycol is covalently linked to the surface of the liposome. Small pegylated liposomes circulate in the bloodstream longer than plain liposomes. Antibodies can be attached to liposomes for targeting purposes. Many studies show that targeting is more effective if the antibody is attached to a spacer arm rather than directly to the liposome surface. Fluorescent liposomes can be made by encapsulating fluorescent molecules in the aqueous interior of the liposome or by adding fluorescent lipids to the bilayer. In some cases, it is useful to have both the aqueous content and the lipid bilayer labeled simultaneously with different fluorophores. Liposomes are important tools for characterizing membrane-associated proteins in their native environment. Liposomes can be used to mimic cell membranes when studying the interaction of drugs and other molecules with cells. Liposomes can encapsulate DNA or RNA in their aqueous space for delivery to cells. Another type of liposome containing positively charged lipids 
such as DOTAP, bind the negatively charged nucleic acids to its surface through electrostatic interactions. These so-called lipoplexes can be used to deliver nucleic acids to cells. Some types of lipoplexes sandwich the nucleic acid between the lipid bilayers. However, many studies show that these are less effective delivery vehicles than other types of lipoplexes which encase the nucleic acid inside hexagonally packed lipid tubes. Both liposomes and lipoplexes have been shown to deliver nucleic acid to cells in vitro and in vivo. For more information about liposomes, go to our website at www.encapsula.com